But Alyssa, you know, there's one uh, name oh that when it's said here in Arkansas, yeah. everyone knows what it is. And it's Brandon Brosworth. Yeah. And this movie came out, and it's called Greater, and it's just touched sure. the lives of so many people that watched it. You got a chance to meet up with somebody. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this stadium, we always talk about how cool it is to go to your first football game. Well, the man himself who was able to be a part of this uh, film is going to be in this stadium for the very first time, experiencing his very first race for that game. And I was able to sit down. With him yesterday, I always had a dream about coming here and coming to a, you know visit one of the games, and to be able to actually be here, be on the site for so many years that I've, I've been gone. It's definitely a dream that's being checked off a bucket list. Sporting a beard and about a hundred pounds lighter, you might not recognize Chris Severio immediately. And it's all coming back. But the glasses are unmistakable. Severio, the lead actor in Greater, is back on the hill this weekend taking in his first Razorback football game. I would always be an Arkansas fan, and I am. You know, I stay stay up to date with all, all these games that occur here. He says being back here is special, and portraying the life of Brandon Burlesworth changed his as well. Learning his story saved me. And from that moment, I went through more trials and tribulations. And every time I went through each one, I went through an apartment fire, lost everything. A year later, I went through a flood and lost everything. A year later, I had, I had two major surgeries. A year later, I lost my best friend. And each time coming from that darkness was Brandon. Brandon reminded me you know, where where I was and who I am. That impact has driven Severio to continue Burlesworth legacy and the message his family and foundation stand for. I want to be able to go out and, and talk to kids about Brandon's story and, and my story and how they paralleled and what the reason was behind that. And hopefully I can encourage, you know, if it's a group of 20 kids and it only touched one, that's all that matters. Maybe it was just one that, that needed it. So I want to be able to do that if, if so. An incredible story, DJ. He said he wants to try to meet up with the Burles kids who yep. are usually here in the stadium as well and get to talk with them. And it was so cool to listen to his story and the parallels that they had with Brandon and Brandon's story of adversity. And for someone like Chris to be touched in a way, he said, I'm never going to be able to thank Brandon in person for what he did for me. But he really, truly owes his life to Brandon and being able to play that role. Yeah, and that's amazing that he has not been to a game here. If you yeah, remember the movie one. Greater, uh, the scene when he's about to run out for the first time and he can feel the ground shaking as everyone's calling the hogs. That was just Hollywood, okay? <laughs> he's about to experience yeah. it for the first time in person. I know yeah. he's excited he about is. that. Very special having him here at the game.